You guys know I love my collegiate football products. So today I have a special first look at Panini uh, Immaculate Collegiate First Off The Line. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Packs, and today, like I said, is the Collegiate Immaculate uh, Football. It's going to be first off the line, and this was up for sale on Panini's website last week at $1,000 at Dutch Auction, going down to the floor at $400. It sold out at $475, and I bought in at $500, so right above the floor, but I was really excited to get this because I did not think it was going to drop that low, and that brings me to another point. Uh, you guys can skip forward to the rip if... You don't want to hear me talk about this. I think the sports mar sports card market for uh, boxes, sealed wax in specific, is dropping. So if you guys have looked at the recent releases of Luminance and Elite, those boxes are now going for less than what they initially dropped at. And normally supply as it gets ripped and everything, the prices go up. But... That is not the case with this. The prices have actually gone down, meaning people are not buying as much. And I think we're, we're actually starting to see that shift in the market where hobby box boxes are going to start uh, dropping a little bit. And whether that's due to uh, people are fed up with paying the super high box prices or the new 2022 draft class, I don't know. It could be a little bit of both. It could be one or the other, but I don't really care what the reasoning is. I just like seeing these products come out cheaper. So let's get back to the actual box. We do have, um, Immaculate is a huge set and you are only going to see six cards out of this. It's gonna be one base or parallel as well as one mem card and then four autographs. And one of those autographs is going to be an emerald first off the line pa parallel numbered to 13 or nine, which is different from last year because last year's was numbered to 10 or lower. So I'll take the wrapping off and show you guys the, oh, whoops, if, did not want to rip, all right. So big set, you can get lots of cool stuff out of here. I have not seen any of these opened yet, but we do have the base ruby, blue, gold, emerald, and then platinum, one of one. So platinum is going to be one of one in this set, as well as um, the one of ones for the logo shield, lo uh, laundry tag, conference logo, and bowl logo. So there's a lot of different types of one of ones you can get out of here. Maybe we'll hit one, that would be pretty cool. Um, but other than that, Immaculate, known for having pretty pretty crazy patches and just really, really nice looking cards in general. So let's see what we got here. This is my first Immaculate box that I've ever opened. Very excited to do this. One box. All right. And then I do have some fillers that we are going to sweat the break a little bit. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. So, hey. All right, first card is just going to be a base, and that is going to be a Deck Prescott, number 20 out of 99. Okay, so this is the design, pretty cool. Very Immaculate-like. I, I just love the design, it's so clean. But let's see what else we have. So. This is either going to be an auto or it's the mem. Okay. It's going to be Immaculate Ink of Dallas Godert. Awesome for the Eagles. Very cool. Eight out of 99. It's an interesting jersey. But very cool. Very cool looking card. 
So Immaculate's going to have stickers or on cards. Uh, it's a little bit mix of both, but that's for South Dakota State. I actually did not know what college he went to. Very cool card, though. All right. Let's see what else we got. I see USC colors. Maybe that's Drake London. It was. Ooh, that is cool. Fight on Drake London. 10 out of 10. Oh, man, that is a cool looking card. So these are those, uh, those slogan die cuts. That is an awesome card right there. Such a cool product. It's on card. Look at that. See the back there? So collegiate, even though it is collegiate, you can get some vet autos in it like Dallas Go Dirt. Um, I know that... Um, man, lost my train of thought. I know that like Peyton Manning signed in this, so you can get some other guys in it too. But All right. Let's see what our next auto is. Texas A&M. What if this was a Johnny Manziel? <laughs> I don't think he's allowed to sign anymore, but it's going to be Isaiah Spiller on an RPA. So that is the true RPA rookie. Very nice. That is a 39 out of 99. Nice looking patch there. And he got on card, on card auto uh, drafted by... Um, Drafted by the Chargers, I believe. Hasn't really seen the field much yet, but nice patch. Nice two-color patch on card auto out of 99. So doesn't quite beat that Drake London, but very cool. All right. Then let's see what we got here. All right. It's green. So, oh, sorry. Uh, it's green. So this is our first off the line. Kayvon Thibodeau? Five out of 13. Ooh, look at that patch. Ooh, that's a nice card. I mean, defensive player, unfortunately, but number five overall. Five overall pick, yeah, uh, to the Giants. Having a pretty good start. Actually, has he played yet? I know he was injured, but very cool. The emerald green with that green patch for Oregon. Very nice looking card there. Awesome. All right. And then we have our last card here. This is a thicky. Um, uh. All right. It's going to be Brian Robinson and Derrick Henry. Hey, that's a cool one. Look at that. Awesome. So that's going to be just a two-player patch for the Alabama Crimson Tide. The Brian Robinson... Uh, it doesn't say... Okay. The Robinson is not from any specific game or event. And the Henry is uh, player-worn. So, very cool card there. Love King Henry. Would have loved to see, like, some other guys on there, too. Not just the... Uh, not just the two guys. But very, very cool, regard cool card regardless. All right. Let's do a recap real quick. This was a really, really fun rip. Um, got some really nice cards out of here. So we got the Derrick Henry to um, Derrick Henry and Brian Robinson to 99. Our first off the line RPA for Kayvon Thibodeau out of 13. Isaiah Spiller out of 99 uh, RPA on card auto. And then this might have probably been our best card. This was a Drake London 10 out of 10 on card auto for the slogan fight on. Then we do have a Dallas Go Dirt, 8 out of 99, Immaculate Ink, and a Base Deck Prescott to 99. So, very, very fun rip there. I mean, this was, again, $500, $500 is what I bought at. Uh, reason I bought at that price was because the pre-sale for this product was around $700. So, We'll see if that comes down, but that's what kind of made me think that there was some really good value in this when it went that low on Dutch Auction. But let me know what your guys' favorite card was out of this, and remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.